Hello everybody, welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. And I am going to play with these magical powders and I'm sorry that it's really blurry. Some of them you can see, but I've used these before. And um, yeah, so I am scrapbooking this really cute photo of Briley. It's a little bit dark, but I'm thinking these watercolors will brighten up the photo. That's what I'm hoping. And it does. It's, I love the background. I love it. I, I love the stamping on it. And I love the layout. It actually turned out really pretty. Now, the title is kind of hard to see on camera, but in, in real life, it is really cute, and you can see it. So, first I am using the blue, and I'm just kind of doing the colors like the blue first, and then I'm going to use the purple, and then the yellow, and then the blue, and or the blue first, and purple, pink. And then so on. And then um, I use a paper towel and I kind of dab up a little bit. First I gessoed my background and let that dry off camera before I started. That way my colors will run a little bit. And I am doing kind of the top left I know they're kind of in the middle, but I chose to move it up a little bit. But I love the colors. This month is just full of colors that we are scrap lifting. The layouts are gorgeous this month, and I just love it. I love the colors. All right, here I'm going to put the yellow in. Just a little bit of yellow. I, I like on a page. Here I am mixing them and I'm just going to put a little bit. So please go check out Krista, Ronnie, Kathy, Dolly, and the Scrappy Sisters and see what how they are scrap lifting this layout. I can't wait to go watch their channel. All right, so now I'm going to add a little bit of, a little bit more purple, and then I'll add a little bit of pink. I'm going to have that run a little bit. It looks like a hot mess right now, but it'll work out. Get this pink on there. Just a little bit, and then I, I wipe up some of it on my packaging, and then, um, yeah, I like that. See, the photo, it, it looks kind of dark. Now, I take my, this is uh, close to my heart, Stamp of the Month, and you can get this Stamp of the Month for $5 if you order $50 or more. And you can purchase any of the stamp of the month for $5. And it's a really pretty stamp. So now I'm just using the Close to My Heart stamps. And I'm stamping right on the color. So it kind of looks, um, oh, I can't think of the word. But it kind of looks like second generation stamping by stamping it on top of the color. It just kind of faint you could just barely see the butterfly and I love that look I love the stamping on there all right so now I'm moving on to the yellow and I'm just kind of using the same butterfly stamp I was going to use the little butterfly but I decided not to going to use this lagoon now the lagoon is a little bit off it's a little bit darker but that's okay I want some of the butterflies to be visual 
Next one is Thistle. All right, and that one is a little bit darker, which is okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that. It's so pretty. Okay. Now I, I pulled out some Sweet Story um, paper that I had fussy cut out and now and I have some Project Life card and I'm just going to cut them and put some layers behind my photo just to kind of help brighten it up. Briley is holding a uh, poppy from the Trolls movie. So I want to put some color above and below the photo and on the sides. And that's a good way to use your 3x4 cards when you have a small photo like that. Alright, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, I got out some pink cardstock and I'm going to mount my paper. Give it some make my layout stand out. I like to do that with um, when I use white daisy cardstock. I like to make my make it stand out a little bit. Oh that's so pretty. I wish my photo wasn't so dark. Alright here I go again using florals flowers on my layout. So I pulled some from Chamel's Never Grow Up collection. And now I'm just kind of playing around. I'm tucking it here, tucking it there. And then I have some, um, oh, what, these puffy flowers from, oh, Maggie Holmes, Willow Lane. And I used the white one and the pink one. Now I'm trying to, I have to stop the video to go um, look for some butterflies. So I pulled that one. Kind of, I wanted some green in there. Now I'm trying to go through here and I, I want to use some of these gold leaves. So I'm going to tuck them in behind the flowers. And I know it looks like a hot mess. But looking at it, it really does look beautiful. And I love using flowers on my layouts anymore. Okay, here comes the word smile. And I love, I love just using a simple title. See, it's kind of hard to um, see the title, but... I can see it close up, so I cut, I left it there. And so next, I'm going to get out some sequins. They have a bunch of uh, sequins on their layout, so I'm going to mimic that and get out a bunch of colors. But first, I'm going to go see if there's anything else I want to add. And I found that floral laying there, and yeah, I take that off. So here's where I dig out the purple, and blue, and pink are the colors that I sprinkle across the page. And I do leave that in. I do leave in me gluing the sequins on. I don't normally do that, but since this was it that I was going to do to the page. I went ahead and left it in. My glue exploded. So yeah, you have that. So it kind of makes my layout kind of sparkle and it kind of adds just a little bit more color to the areas that has the mixed media to it. And now I'm going to add a little bit of blue. And the, there's the, these are really old. I think it's been a couple years since I've ordered sequins. 
I want to use up my stash before I order any more. Trying to see where I put some glue. <laughs> All righty. Get the last couple down. And then put some pink down. Sorry I left all that in. I guess I wanted you to stay and play with me for a little bit longer. <laughs> this layout was pretty fun to put together. I hope you all enjoyed this. And please go check out Krista and Ronnie and Kathy and Dolly and the Scrappy Sisters. And I will see you next week with another colorful layout. Thank you all for coming, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.